Want to know the key difference between series and parallel connection? How to define a series connection and a parallel connection and how to identify either a connection is in series or in parallel because I'm going to be showing you the diagram of how a series and parallel connection looks like. I'm also going to be showing you how to calculate the equivalent value of different components when they are connected in either series or parallel connection. So that, those are the things we are going to be looking at in this video. So if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, right now I want you to click on the P and the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So with that, let's get started. So now the first thing we are going to be looking at is what do we mean when we talk about a series and a parallel connection? So for series circuit, it says a series connection, the components are connected along a single conducting path through which current flows. Now this is the diagram for a series connection. Look at it. You can see the, uh, the path which the current will flow, which will flow in just one, one path. So the current will flow in just one path. So, so you can see it is just what in just in one path, and that is it on our, for series. Now let's look at the parallel. It says in parallel connection, the voltage, the same voltage is applied to all all the components. So all the components in this uh, in this uh, in a parallel circuit the voltage is what once they are in parallel the voltage is the same thing and apart from that if you look at the parts unlike this one where we have it in, a, in general just passing through a single part a single conducting part but if you look at it here we have one part here from the source from the source you can see to move like this and like this you can also have something coming like this from the source straight to this part and then from the source also to this part you can see that it's not just a single source that is what makes it what a parallel a parallel connect, uh, connection let's even, let me even number it like this let me call this one two three four five six seven eight so you can see that if you look you have to follow what i've just drawn we have we have a part of one one two seven eight we have another one of pass through one two three six seven eight and then we have another one that will pass through uh let me just make it short one okay one two three four five six you know to pass through the entire point so that is the difference between the series and the parallel connection in terms of the definition and in terms of the diagram now let's look at the difference in terms of components that are connected in series and parallel connections so if you look at this table, here we have some of the components, we have the, this is for the series and then the parallel. So for currents now, if you look at the series, that means we have current I is equals to I1 is also equals to I2 equals to I3 depending on how many components and how many currents you have to look for. What this is telling us is that in a series connection, the currents was are same for all the components. So all the components, the current, the same current flows through all the components in a series collection. But when we look at it from the, on the other side of parallel connection, you can see that the currents are not always the same thing across all components. So for you to get the equivalent value of the currents in a parallel connection, you have to add the value of each uh, of each current. So now let's look at voltage. For the voltage in series connection, the equivalent voltage, which is the total voltage, is the addition of individual voltage in the components. So that's, that's why we have Vt is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus, you know, depending on how many components you are having and the voltage drop across the, those components. So once you add them up, you'll be able to get uh, the total voltage. But when we look at it from the parallel uh, side of it, you can see that the same voltage, what, the voltage is same across each of the components in a parallel connection. So now let's look at resistance. For resistance, if you have to get the equivalent resistance in a series circuit, you just add the value that is R T is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So you are going to add the value of each individual of individual resistance to get the total resistance in a series circuit. Why for that of parallel? For that of parallel, you look for you use the reciprocal, the addition of the reciprocal. That way we have one over R T. This R T means total resistance. R T total resistance. V T means the total voltage. So 1 over R2 is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus depending on how many resistors you are having in the circuit. So you pick the resistance and then you put in the values and then you solve that to be able to get the equivalent resistance in that circuit. So for conductance, conductance G is 
So to get the total conductance in a series circuit, one, that's 1 over G equals to, so this is an equals to sign, equals to 1 over G plus G1 plus 1 over G2 plus 1 over G3 plus, you know, once I do something like this, that's to tell you that depending on the total number of uh, conductance that you are giving or that you have in that in that circuit. So that's how you get that for a series connection for conductance. Then why for that of parallel, you just add the value of each of individual conductance in the circuit. So you add the value, you'll be able to get the conductance. So now for that of inductors, if they are connected in series, you just add the value of each individual conductance. That's we have L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus, you know, depending on the total number of inductors you are having in the circuit, just add the individual value of the uh, inductance and then you get the total inductance in that circuit. On the part of the parallel, the same with calculating for the resistance. That have 1 over LT is equals to 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3 plus. So you keep adding it like that depending on the number of inductors you are having in the circuit. That is for parallel. This is for parallel. This is for series. Why the ones we are having here is for capacitor. So if you are to, if you are asked to look for the equivalent or the total uh, capacitance in a in a circuit arranged in series, so this is the formula you just apply where you have one over C T that is total capacitance is equals to one over C one plus one over C two plus one over C three plus, and then depending. So if you are having only two, you are just so if let's say you are having only two capacitor, you are asked to look for the equivalent uh, capacitance. So you are going to be having something like one over. CT is equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C C2. So if you're having 3, then that will be 1 over C3. If you're having 4, you add it like that. So depending on the total capacitor that we are having in that circuit, this is for series. Now if you go to parallel, you just add the value of each individual capacitance. So that will give you the total capacitance in that in that circuit. So that is it on uh, the key difference. That's the things I want to cover in this video, talking about the key difference between a series and a parallel connection. So I've talked about uh, the dif in terms of definition, what we mean by series uh, connection and what we mean by parallel connection. We've also looked at the diagram. I believe you be should be able to identify uh, a series and a parallel connection in a uh, via the diagram. And then we've also looked at this, you know, how to calculate the total and the equivalent value of components. Another important thing I want to add is that there are some um, circuits you come across that they have both uh, series and parallel connections in them. They have both series and parallel connections in them. I'll be talking more about that in, uh, in another video. So with that guys, I've come to the end of this video. If you have any question or any comment whatsoever with regards to this video, do leave them in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, make sure you click on the like button, you share this video, and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.